frustrated this morning um, so yeah I, I didn't realize yesterday that I had the other cut here and I could have continued filming everything that happened but I'll just catch you up on what happened so since that footage is available so yeah my hard drive crashed um, as I was trying to export a video spirits are not like pfft, high flying or whatever so right now I'm I'm, I'm painting so I've finished I've done the second coat at the back of the house where I had started yesterday um, in the afternoon after the whole debacle with the footage and everything. So my plan is to sort of do as much as I can of the exterior. Oh wow! Do as much as I can of this exterior work. Um, so finish painting the walls themselves, and then um, maybe tomorrow I'll do the windows. But I'll only do the windows that are staying, not the windows that are going. Um, so, huh, yeah, so that's, that's where I'm at. I, I feel a bit, I need to be able to remove this. So with this wall, I didn't put the primer because this paint, this paint is self priming. So with the other walls, I did the primer, um, first did two coats of the primer and then came back with this, the, the exterior paint. The reason I didn't do the primer for this one is one it's a new wall and this paint says it's self priming so I'm testing that theory out and two it's also because I have because the paint is for exterior the primer has to also be used in the inside of the house so I'm trying anywhere where I, I was trying to see if I can just go with this because the other because this wall is not dirty these other ones are dirty so I literally need the primer to give me a smoother softer base to work with on these other walls so for that one um, I was just like it's not a dirty wall it's a new wall so the self priming paint should be able to work the thing is I will just end up doing a bit more extra coat and now I have to clean up um, the ceiling because it has all the the plaster splatter uh, <laughs> but it's actually see some I think one of the things I enjoy about being in this space is even when my vibe when when I'm I'm coming and I'm feeling a bit low this space often just it, it kind of does something to me and my vibe usually just something happens so yeah uh, so now because I did this yesterday so basically it's like that's our base code is that a bat? Did it? Which bat is that? The only part that will be left that won't be painted yet will be the base which is the black edge but I want to finish the rest of the house the all the white bits um, so there's bits that I won't paint the bits that I know are coming down and that will I don't want to like one waste paint and two whatever so like this part of the this portion of the wall won't be painted because I know it's coming down but I'll paint the other one this portion of the wall will sort of be painted and then the part that will be added we'll just have to clean it and then do a fresh uh, nini because there's a portion of it the window the kitchen window because the kitchen window is changing right so I had sort of started with the primer on that side so um, I want the sliding window there instead of a window that opens up like this because of space um, that way someone can sit there and it can't be oh you can't sit here if the window is open or if you sit here the window has to be closed so you can just slide on um, open and shut over there shorter window definitely um, so yeah so let's paint these walls and then maybe hopefully start sanding the windows the first window i want to sand is this bedroom window because i also want to see the master bedroom window i also want to see like because the putty that was used the putty for the glass is very different it, it feels more like it's not like but it's like it looks like they mixed sawdust and wood glue i can't be certain but that's what it looks like so i want to kind of just because most of it is cracked i just want to get rid of that and then i'll use that um I'll use a different nini 
formula to fill up that area before we paint the windows. Um, yeah, or just, you know, buy party the regular one that is used these days and just fill up those sections um, and then paint that over. So yeah, so right now, let's go paint. So I'm trying to scrape off all this, the cement bits that uh, fell on this wall and then I can I can just paint this section as I paint this wall because the wall over here is coming down so when that's coming down it might affect what happens here so I'd rather paint that at that point um, but I will prepare these windows as I prepare because actually I think these are the only windows that are okay to sort of be painted as they are compared to all the others I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let him take my soul. Nah, 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 no. See, we was cool right before I hit your fist. But he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched. But I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins I can't say these hoes cause my last name ain't Kent Cooking on the stove, that's the way he paid the rent Working on the pole, that's the way she pays the wish Better watch your soul cause you know they trying to get it Yeah, yeah I learned my right from wrong on a song I let my heart bleed on my sleeve through microphones I'm trying to write my wrongs By writing out my wrongs Ran through a check cause it's hard to live off bread alone So if you see me slipping, yeah, yeah, let me know Cause it ain't the end of times yet I know, but it's getting close <laughs> So I have done a bit of work on this. I love the way it looks and I think it's a good idea to go with the, the paint from the get-go because compared to the, what's it called, the, um, the primer, this is a lot brighter from the beginning. But I like this because this is now basically our second coat because yesterday I did one coat and it already looks really good because my plan was to do three coats on this wall so that like the first coat basically acts as a primer and then the other two coats are just to brighten up the space and everything and i really really like the way it looks um i had asked the fundi to leave some texture on this wall my plan was to come back with a a metal it's called metal a wire brush yes a wire brush and like just uh comb it like brush through it and leave um a certain texture on it but then that night we finished super late <laughs> When we finished this and then by the next morning it had really started setting in and as much as yeah i could still because i could even like scratch it with my nail and it would leave something um i really wanted the texture to happen when it was still wet and then i just didn't take advantage of it at that point but i like the tiny bits of texture it still has it's still going to work very well for what i wanted to have it's an exterior wall but it's also going to be like um a place where i'm going to set up uh working office like my outside office area technically i'll be sitting out here to work um and also like it will be like a launch area so we want to put some artwork on this wall it's gonna stay white because i want the exterior like i'm very intentional with the exterior of the house being black and white okay the exterior of the house has to literally be just black and white and then if i add color i want to use plants i want to use art i want to use decor other bits to bring in different colors so since this is going to be part of the patio still because this wall is coming down and the patio is going to extend that way um this is going to be like the lounge area where I, I can chill um do zoom calls and all that i'm excited for what's going to happen so i need to go mix in some uh mix up some more paint and i love the ceiling because the ceiling had they had done like one coat of a base paint a base coat and it was very haphazardly done it's all over the place the person used a brush and it's like they were just doing this and then just moving on to the next thing so because of that uh it looked very I, if i even leave it like this it still looks really good but it's going to disturb me because i can tell that there's more that can be done with it so i'm still going to do a second coat so i want to go mix the paint 
do the second coat of the ceiling that way i'm done with the ceiling completely um, i'm going to do the base of this wall because i'm yet to do the base the base hasn't been done yet uh because there was a lot of i needed to remove this so i didn't want to pick up anything um from the get go imagine now once we paint yeah i'm tempted to like paint it but then i'm like once this wall comes down i don't know should i ask him if today we can take it down because i can help <laughs> Because if this wall comes down and then we just do the plaster work on this and this place is done, I can paint the whole section, including the window. Because I'm thinking, I was over here and I was like, oh, I should paint this window. Because this window and the bedroom window can be painted. Uh, well, this one mostly because it doesn't have a lot of chipped paint. The one in the bedroom needs the party to be, to be replaced before we paint. But I'm like, this one, I think I can paint it and then... I don't know. Should I? I feel like I should. A kid looks so nice. I love I love how one thing I love is the white is very white. It's a brilliant white. So against the greenery, it really really stands out. So I really like that uh a lot. I <laughs> I appreciate it. So, I don't know. I'm feeling like I want to paint that window. Uh, you can see some bits that look like they're like black black spots so those are the parts that have the texture but i want the paint to go in i want you to see the texture when you're next to the wall i don't it's i don't need to be like specks from a distance um, so i'm using the roller the edge of the roller to kind of just you can't see there let me see um so like here can you see if there's a spot there's a spot here which is a dark spot so you i just press that in and the, the the paint just soaks into the the that bit and then just roll over it like that so that any excess paint on the edge doesn't clump up and be hello there i am interrupting to tell you about this video's sponsor this video is sponsored by skillshare and if you do not know about skillshare i got you skillshare is a platform for creatives which has thousands and thousands and thousands of classes that creatives can take if you are trying to expand your skills grow your skills learn new skills or even just pass some time and pick up on a couple of things skillshare is a platform for you so i am going to tell you about the class i'm taking now that we are finally getting uh, some work done over here one of the things that i want to do is i want to have some beautiful flowers and gardens now that i have the space for it and i'm taking a gardening class yes yes i I am taking a gardening class and I'm so so excited about the class I'm taking. I'm doing gardening for beginners, new plants added regularly by Mark Shorter. So what I love about this um this class is that I've learned so much about the different types of plants and how they flower. So there's like if you want because I'm someone who wants to have like a really bright, beautiful, colorful garden at all times and apparently the best um I've now learned the best plants to um make that happen so these are plants that are that flower annually and how to make them flower on a regular basis as in i have learned so much and i cannot wait to start implementing those classes when we start working around the house the bonus for me was the fact that like <laughs> he keeps sharing photos of flowers that are just thriving and i'm like i'm here for it me i love it I'm really enjoying this class and if there's anything that you would like to learn be it gardening be it uh, about art interior design painting drawing there's definitely a class for you on skillshare all you have to do is just go check it out and because i like you okay and i want you to expand those skills the first 1000 people to click on the link in the description box you'll get to enjoy a free trial of skillshare premium so get on there it's only for the first 1000 people you do not want to be left behind now let's get back into the video yo so they had used bricks here to support it and then they used soil at the base which was very wet and that's what the tub looks like and all the rocks are very very wet for some reason so either it was leaking or something else was happening and there's plants growing in there
Hello! Uh, so, I want to paint this window. I'm painting it black. Uh, so the frame on the outside and the any side, anything facing this side is going to be painted black. So I have my paint. And I've cleaned this brush, so we're going to use the same brush to wipe down the, the stuff on the window, the gunk, the whatever. Because we've just painted here, I had sort of wiped it down. So I'm going to use some steel wire, steel wool, steel wire, depending on what you call it, and a damp cloth to, so I'll just scrub with this and wipe down with this before I paint. So that's where we are starting. I don't know, should I turn? So the first coat is done. I like the way it looks. My intention is to come and sand it a bit and then do the second coat. Um, the paint is that self-leveling paint, which is good. And I like the way it looks. The black and white looks really nice. Uh, I appreciate it. I am here for it. Um, so yeah, I guess we are done for the day. So I like it. I said I like it like that. Uh. I like it. I like the way it looks. Mm. And I love the contrast between the, the darkness and the brightness of the walls. So that's good. This is the primer we've been using, which is the Jotun. I, I don't know what do you call it, Jotun. I call it Jotun. Jotun acrylic emulsion primer in white, and then we're using the Duracoat Vinyl Matte Deluxe as the exterior paint, and it's an exterior paint. You can use it in the in the house as well, but it's a really good um, exterior paint that is resistant to mildew. We had painted our. We had done the primer and you can tell the difference. You see this section over here where my finger is, that section has been painted completely. And then this other section just has the primer. So you can tell where the line, that's where the line is. So this is not painted, just primer. And then this one has been painted completely. So we're going to kind of just blend all that in and then have... I did three coats of the primer because this wall was looking blackety black. So I needed to do a good amount of primer so that I don't have to use too much paint when I am doing the top coat because also it was very far gone. Let's just see that. I'm going to do like that line here so that you can tell. See? So we're just going to paint this and then we're going to do two coats of this and then this wall will be done. Basically one wall is sort of done, at least we have one, well once we do that uh, fissure board up there and the whatever's are cleaned, the roof is cleaned, the tiles, and then we do the fissure board and then put the, the gutters, this will be our complete wall. But it looks so good so far, I wanted to see how it looks with um, our with black and I think I think it looks good. I was when I was doing it I was wondering if the black that they initially had was just a matte black, but then I'm like 
it hasn't been painted in so long and when i was removing it i was certain that it was a gloss paint and it's because it's on the edge it's at the base of the house so it only makes sense to actually have a gloss paint because then it's not going to um, renew with the water that much so i did i did have some um some mishaps like this one so i'll wait for them to dry scrape them and then paint over them with a white up here i had to wipe and the cloth wasn't exactly clean so i'll come back here as well and paint and just make it nice and neat as well as the edges uh but these ones look pretty neat so and then i have to go get putty i broke a window here that one one two three the third one um when i was trying to remove that old putty but since i've painted the wood that's okay because my plan was to remove this and then just do fresh putty because they used something that looked very different and weird um i don't know if i can there's a place where i can show you it it looks like it's like here it looks like they used um was like a one side of the house is done one side of the house is done so once this dries we can now clean this windows I wanted this to be the first side that's done because this is basically the first room we're working on anyway which is the bedroom so that looks good so I'll just keep going my hand hurts a lot my shoulder but we'll just keep it going around because since back here I had also painted this wall I'll do the same that wall isn't painted yet that tiny one for the bathroom so I'll just get this to somewhere like halfway in on this edge as well and then we can take a photo from like this angle that looks nice like maybe something that's from there Pop. so as you can tell the house is like really transformed thanks to painting because yo this house was a mess it was looking a mess like look at that look at how clean and pretty but mostly clean the house looks i am so happy and i love the fact that paint can like really really transform a space and if you are curious about the paints that i used i'll leave all the details in the description box but also all the paints that were used or that are going to be used in this entire project are courtesy of color creators so if you do not know about color creators let me tell you about them uh, color creators is a shop that's located in kilimani and they have a lot of paint they have different brands so whatever tickles your fancy from they have the usual paints they also have those uh, beautiful design type those special effects paints and they have more than just one brand they carry i think about five different brands do call color creators if you are looking to paint your house figure out you know uh, what you need they will definitely help you if you also do not know the quantities of paint you you need don't worry they are going to help you so i i was at color creators about three weeks two weeks ago when we went and picked up our paints and i am so excited to get started on the bedroom so that you can see the paints that i picked for the bedroom i have not shared that information anywhere contacts are going to be in the description box i'm also just going to leave the contacts over here so that you can hit them up and they will definitely definitely assist you tell them you were sent there by Muthon and they will advise you depending on exactly what you need and they'll help you achieve the look that you want for your house they are going to be with us for this entire journey so if you i know you're like ah oh, but that's just black and white honey we've not even started i'm telling you we have not as in we've not even started this is just cleaning up the space okay once we start dropping things ah, i am so excited i am really really excited i am mostly tired but very very excited so because i also want to paint the chimney um thingy up there because we can't we can't paint the house and then leave the chimney like that so we're going to also paint the fisher boards and then we're going to add some gutters that are going to col collect water yeah they're going to help us collect water and mostly i think the water that will be collected from the gutters i would want to use for the plants that are going to be all around the house which plants you ask the ones i just told you i'm learning about how to grow those plants so 
I'm super, super excited about how everything is really moving along. And I'm still hopeful that maybe, maybe not by first December, but early December, will be in here oh yeah something else that um the footage got lost but one of the other things we did is we also we cleaned the walls um a pressure washer would have been perfect cleaned the walls with literally uh soapy water and a brush and a broom and just scrapped it and then what we did is we went in with the base coat first and gave it a good amount of time to dry before going in with our top our top paint our final paint so so there's so much that's going to happen so i hope you're still as excited as you are when we started and that you're enjoying this content as we are moving along because now you get to really see the thought process and i'm happy uh, for us to really finish the shelves that I can now start showing you the plan for the interior work like the decor bit the decorations the design work okay yeah so thank you so much for watching this video if you have not subscribed yet please go ahead and hit subscribe um, you can support me by either sending me something small whatever you have the information on how you can do that is in the description box or two you can support me for free by sharing this video with as many people as you can, sharing it on your socials, tag me, tag me, tag me, share on Twitter, Instagram, uh, WhatsApp, anywhere you can think of sharing. Give it a thumbs up as well and leave a comment in, uh, down below. All those are going to really, really, really help and push me forward. So thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.